All right, guys. So uh, back at base, uh, my quarry is completely out of room here. Uh, they did find uh, five pieces of iron. Oh, and there's two more. I'm going to take their iron. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my backpack here. And I'm going to take all the iron out. I ended up getting over three stacks of iron on that trip, which is uh, pretty amazing, actually. And then uh, when I came up, uh, I finally dug my way up underneath uh, the ocean. And I was right by the old base where we originally started. And while I was there, I went ahead and I, uh, I looked in the uh, chest over there that we had left. And I found some string, uh, extra string that I didn't have uh, before. So I'm throwing in all this iron here to cook up. And I uh, also went ahead and I threw in a stack of stone. Now, cobblestone to make some smooth stone so I can make some stone bricks. To me, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, it's still nice to have. I, uh, you know, I want things to kind of look nice, so I'll go ahead and I'll make some, uh, some stone there. Do I have flint in here? No, I don't. Okay. So, this thing here, uh, since I didn't have a chunk loader, you know, these the base wasn't running, which is not a big deal. Um, so probably what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll set up a chunk loader for next time. So let me go ahead and show you what uh, what I'm looking at doing here. For research, we've got uh, ballistics. I'm definitely going to want to get into some mechanics. Um, this one here gives me uh, the, the boat ballista and a boat catapult. But uh, turreted vehicles is really where I want to end up going to, and vehicle mobility. And then the counterweight weapons should get us to trebuchets. And then from there, uh, we've got iron materials, which will get us uh, some of the catapults and uh, ballista parts, battering ram, cannons. Cannons, those ought to be pretty fun. Um, and then... Uh, you know, uh, get working on that. Oops. And then uh, the turreted vehicles and some rockets and, you know, just all this, all, all the cool stuff. So uh, definitely one of the things we need to make here is going to be the uh, warehouse expansion, which I think is on here. Yeah, the large warehouse expansion, which takes eight iron, which uh, isn't too bad. Um... <laughs> You, you might think it's a little bit expensive considering it adds, uh, how much is it? Uh, how much does that one add? Will it tell me? I don't think it will. Um, so let's find out how much a small is worth, because that's all I've got over here. That'll tell us how many slots. So each small is worth nine. It's uh, one row of inventory. So if we subtract 9 from this one here, that gives us 81. So 81 divided by 3 is, what, uh, 27? Is that 27? Yeah, 27. So uh, you get 27 from each one of those. 27, is that the size of a regular, um, chest yeah regular chest which uh, definitely sounds kind of expensive eight iron for uh, for a single chest so um, but that's the largest expansion but then you can get it all in one area so you know for for that convenience and the ability to search you know let's say I want to find uh, any kind of any kind of wool it's gonna bring all that up let's say I wanted to find black Okay, it's going to give me the black. So it, it does make things a little, uh, well, a lot more organized, actually. So, uh, you know, a little bit expensive, but, yeah, you know what? It's it's part of the mod. We're going to go for it anyway. Um, so I've got all that stuff cooking up. And then um, got, probably going to want to set up an ink farm, which uh, that one there just takes a fishing rod. So that one's pretty cheap, but i, I got to make a like a pond basically in order for that to work uh, anything else I've got that we want to make um, 
Nothing as of yet. Uh, I did make the uh, the travel backpack. Or no, I made the large backpack. Uh, okay, so here's the spot chunk loader, which basically does one chunk. One ender pearl and some stone bricks. And then if we look at the, uh, the deluxe chunk loader, it's two ender pearls and four obsidian. So that's not really bad. Um, for uh, for a chunk loader, it doesn't require any diamonds, it doesn't require the enchanting table, and it doesn't require any fuel. So, that's what's kind of nice, and of course you can pick what size area you want it to, uh, to chunk load. Now the big thing we were looking at was getting a ballista. Let me get my book here. And let's see if we can actually make this thing. So vehicle, we want a ballista stand turret. So we need eight string. Okay, and then after that, it's just the rest of the materials in here. One equipment bay, five of these, two of these, one of these. And I think that's gonna be it. Five, and then two, one of these, one of these. So let's go ahead and make our ballista stand turret. Let's take a look at this thing. I haven't made one, so yeah, here we go. And then I, th I do believe I'm gonna need to make some ballista uh, rounds. Two L's in ballista. So ballista bolts flame bolts, explosive bolts, and iron bolts. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do the iron, but I'll definitely do some uh, ballista bolts. So, we've got that. Let's see what we need to do for the ammo for it, and maybe we'll get a shot off or, or two. Ballista bolts. For eight of those, ugh, two iron, are you kidding me? That seems really expensive, and I don't know if you can pick them back up. Well, you know what, let's go... I don't know if any of my iron's cooked up yet. These furnaces aren't the fastest thing. No, it hasn't started that yet. Let me go ahead and grab... Uh, just eight of these. And, yeah, we just go ahead and cook it in here since this thing's out of wood. Two iron ingots. For eight ballista bolts. And I need some wood. I need five sticks. There we go. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll make two. So I need ten sticks. Ah, it's only going to be good enough for eight. No, well, there was one piece of wood in here the courier hadn't picked up yet. And then I need ten feathers. I do believe my feathers are in here. Yep. So let's go and make our sticks. Okay, and uh, as if you're watching, you'll see that um, you can set it up to make multiples. So if you needed to make a, a whole bunch of ammunition, uh, I'm sure you could feed parts in uh, using a, a hopper and then use the uh, the worker guy to uh, what is it the craftsman or something like that I'll go ahead and I'll take a look and see what he's called yeah the novice craftsman and he should be able to go ahead and work it so that uh, you know he can build your ammo for you so for right now let's go ahead and try this ballista stand turret um, I don't think these guys can use it. I think it would have to be um, a 
combat engineer so we'll have to check that so let me go ahead and we're just going to put this here and you know what do I have enough sticks for uh, I need seven sticks for that let me see if I've got some ladders I want to go ahead and elevate it just so that it uh, get a better shot okay I got one ladder I'd rather have a stick and make uh, another set of three ladders. So let me just run in here, chop down another piece of wood. There we go, there's some ladders. good ballista turret oh there's a time limit you have to wait until it's ready so it looks like I'm ready here okay so I'm turning and I can adjust Ooh, I don't seem to be able to adjust it up and down so I will need to get some additional parts in order to be able to do that. So let me go ahead and get out of this thing and let's go ahead and pack it up. Eh, this guy doesn't like this thing being here. Did I mess up your patrol? There you go. Alright, so that's a no-go. We do not want to put it elevated until we add some uh, additional upgrades to it to allow us to aim up and down. Hmm. Don't have much of a big open space anymore. Just want to make sure that wherever I put it, we've got a decent target. Let's see if I put it there if that's high enough. And of course, these guys don't like it being in their way. Up, look down. Ah, this guy's in the way. So don't put it in their uh, patrol area. So let's pack it up. And I have no idea what the uh, range is on this. Alright, so let's put it here then. And once it's ready, we'll go ahead and we'll put the ammo in it. So here we go, we've got bolts. You can put upgrades and armor. Let's look at the stats here. Material level zero. It's got a weight, some health, speed, missile velocity, resistance for fire, explosives, and is that, that might be general. Uh, which has to do with the armor. It is mountable. It says it's drivable. I don't think I can move it, can I? Well, let's hop in it. No, okay, so I can't actually move it, but uh, it does allow me to turn. So, let's see how far I can turn it. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the red line there is where it's going to uh, to drop in using gravity. Come on, how do I move this thing around? And then the white is... I'm not sure. So let's see if we can... F ooh, fire this thing. Ooh, nice! on me. Well, that was cool. 
hit somebody with the first shot. Okay, well, let's see if we can get our ammunition back. See if we can at least see where it landed. Wow, that was a pretty good range on it. Can I pick you up? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Cannot pick it up. That's too bad. Since I missed, I would think that I might be able to pick it up. Unless that's... No, that can't be the one that hit the Enderman. That's got to be the one that missed. Because the one that hit the Enderman was down here. Which, it's not here. So... Hmm. Maybe I'll talk to uh, Shadow Mage about the ability to pick them back up. Because I don't, I don't think I can do anything with this either, can I? Maybe an ammo retrieval tool or something. Yeah, I could definitely set that up and uh, get it to fall on somebody and do a lot of damage to them. Alright, well, you guys got to see it work. That's definitely something we'll have to play with. Because I definitely want to make sure that I'm a decent shot once we go doing some siege uh, warfare. So, probably the next thing I'll do is I'll try making the uh, combat engineer and see how that works. So let's see if we go into stats again. So it's got adjustable pitch and yaw but not power. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Very nice. That was cool. Um, yeah, I'd definitely like to get one of these things set up and have uh, maybe a combat engineer sitting in it to defend. But it, it doesn't look like it can turn very far at this point. Ah, okay, so... What is it? Is it F and G? G changes the ammo. You can see it shows you the count. So F changes the pitch. Which is going to be the height. Uh, right now it's set for G and R. Guns and Roses. Uh, <laughs> so I can adjust the pitch here. Um, it doesn't look like I... Yeah, okay, so I can adjust it if I'm looking. But if you want to go ahead and adjust it quickly down, that's F. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, if you hit F7, you can go into your keybinds here. And you can see aim up, aim down is R and F. Uh, turn left and right is Z and X. So let's see what that does. Z and X. So it's not moving very far. Maybe I need to hit C to turn off the uh, mouse aim. Okay, there we go. So I can look around, and if I hit C to turn off the mouse aim, then I can adjust the yaw and the pitch manually, and looking around isn't going to change it. So if you're going to do a... Uh, you know, a castle attack or whatever, you're going to want to use your uh, R and F to adjust your uh, your pitch and your yaw. That way, uh, you're when you're looking around, you're not going to affect it. So if, if you want to turn that back on, it's going to be C again. And now as I turn and look, it's going to change it. So if, if you want to try and fire on the fly, you can do that. But uh, if you had a catapult or a trebuchet, you'd probably want to turn that off and adjust it with the, uh, the keyboard keys uh, just to kind of help you with your uh, uh, getting, it, getting it right where you want it. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, ammo select is V and next ammo is G. So if we go in here and we hit V, okay, so that just lets us choose what we want real quick without having to cycle through. All right, well, that's pretty cool. And then uh, shift to dismount. Uh, 
control and right click gets you into the menu here so very nice shadow mage I approve um, I definitely want to play with this stuff I'm so looking forward to it our first ballista and the first shot hit the enderman uh, I wish I knew how much damage it had done hmm okay thanks guys thanks for watching uh, I know it's been kind of a long episode uh, thanks for going through the cave with me we found lots and lots of iron which is starting to get cooked up now we've got uh, almost a full stack here already um, and then we'll be able to put some warehouse expansions in here go ahead and upgrade that so that we can really get this thing moving um, I could definitely see where other mods like uh, maybe iron chests uh, would allow you to store quite a bit or if you had build craft or thermal expansion and some barrels either factorization or the barrels mod you know you could go ahead and, and really stack this stuff up now there is a uh, I think it's a trash can or garbage disposal or something let me see what that is uh, trash disposal that's what it is so with the trash disposal um, I'll have to build one and look at the interface uh, I'm just gonna have to assume that you can tell it what can go in it and then basically every tick I believe it will destroy one of the item that you tell it to why aren't those going in there Uh, <laughs> I know why it's not going in there. Redstone. It turns off hoppers. <laughs> so, interesting. Okay. So, thanks guys. Uh, see you next time. Well, welcome back everyone. Thaddeus here. And today, we, uh, well, right now we're going to finish up our, uh, our video from uh, before here we've got a little bit of time uh, before we hit the 30 minute mark and I've got something special that uh, we're gonna try today so um, let's see we've got our warehouse going here it's looking pretty well it's getting all filled up and a little world hole here there we go Hmm, I don't remember. Okay, there it goes. So, um, you'll notice here that this is now an adept foot soldier. So, I spoke with Shadow Mage, and uh, he got an update out to uh, allow the adept NPCs to uh, to be set out. Uh, I already had the adept lumberjack, so now I've got the adept medic, and I believe that's all I have for adept let's look in here there's something you can do in the town hall here uh, there's this NPC list which you can look at it's got a living section and a dead so far I haven't had any show up in dead even though I know some of them have died so that's something that I'll need to talk to uh, shadow mage about here if we look at the archer it's it's updating in real time where he is so if you can't find one of your NPCs you can try looking in here uh, and you can see that uh, it's keeping records of, uh, you know, lots of them. Here we're seeing a uh, novice archer with 1.2799 health here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit clear, and then it'll update with what is currently out there. So I'm seeing an adept foot soldier. Oh, yes, uh, my fisherman. Uh, I have an adept fisherman and then the lumberjack and the medic so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, the fisherman I went ahead and I made an ink sack farm because uh, I'm working on lots of research and so we're gonna need lots of ink sacks so what I've got here is a two uh, deep hole basically filled with water it's, uh, it's a nine by nine on the X and Z axis 
And then he just sits here and he has a chance every tick to uh, basically harvest an ink sack. Um, just because, you know, real squid out in, uh, out in the water is kind of iffy as far as when they spawn and where they'll spawn. So here it's just assumed that every so often there would be a squid and depending on where you've got it if the conditions are right there could actually be a squid there but since we've got all this water underneath us here from where we built uh, the squid are probably gonna spawn there if I were to fill all that in then certainly we would uh, probably be seeing actual squid in here and so it's just based off of the probability that a squid would spawn and so based on that probability he has a chance to get an ink sack. Now one of the things we're going to be doing here is if you look over here at my quarry the uh, the engineers aren't here or actually the miners is what they're called and the reason why is because they got down to Y level 8 and they stopped their digging. Uh, I did jump down there to see what the Y level was. Uh, the bottom is currently at Y level 8. Now I spoke to Shadow Mage on that and I asked him if that was as intended. He said that he thought he had programmed it to go down to Y level 4 but he's going to check on that and, and, uh, and verify to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and what he intends it to be doing. But as you can see, it's done. So I went ahead and I pulled up the miners. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a new mine. Uh, and so I've got this great big hole. So what are we going to do with this hole? Well, that's where this comes in. This is a civic structure builder. This is a village house one. So in the normal world gen villages, there are different structures and this is one of the things that you can build using uh, this building here which is it is the what is it um, the drafting station I believe it is and so in here you can select different uh, world gen village buildings the library the smith even torches and the village well now if we look here and we see what it requires here it'll tell you what you need as far as the uh, resources you stick all the resources in there click start and it'll give you this now the village torch okay that's not really something that uh, you know you need this for because they're pretty darn simple however if we look at something like village house one which is what I did you'll see this list of resources 108 cobblestone 12 oak wood glass panes planks stairs door torch so what you do is you end up putting all of these items in here okay like this cobblestone and once I click start it will basically grab this cobblestone subtract it from how much you need and then once you fulfill all the requirements you will get one of these now I have not used one of these before it does say right click to open the GUI um, I haven't had any success with that yet so if I right click it it doesn't do anything but if you see here you'll see this outline of the size of the building so I don't have room to put it here so what we're going to do is we're going to put it right over there on top of where this quarry was. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear this out. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this off because I don't want these guys to come running over here and fall down into this hole while I'm doing this. And then we're going to see exactly how this works. Uh, one of the things I did uh, speak to Shadow Mage about was with the resources it did not allow me to use any other wood besides oak so my beautiful jungle wood farm over there uh, was no help 
no help at all. So uh, he may see about uh, allowing other wood types or resources as far as cobblestone versus smooth stone versus uh, bricks, it's the stone bricks, uh, things of that nature. Now you can actually, there is a uh, something you can create that will allow you to copy buildings that you make. So if you wanted to have it basically replicate a structure that you created, you can do that. Um, and we'll definitely try that at least once with uh, something that we create just to test it out. Oh, and that thing was full of cobble. Hmm. I suppose I should have emptied that out first. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take care of that. So this right here is a uh, trash can, basically. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw some of this cobblestone in there and some of the gravel and then we're gonna jump back over there and pick up some more of this stuff because that is totally not what I wanted to happen and all you need to do to make this work is give it a redstone signal just uh, just a lever on is all it takes and uh, you'll see that that uh, items are flowing down. It's not super fast, um, but in some ways that's good because if you accidentally threw something in there, you might actually be able to rescue it before it uh, disappeared. Okay, so we're going to have to clear this out too because we definitely want to keep that. And um, this right here is our uh, our warehouse that we were using. And I'm just going to plug that up here real quick. So we got room to pick this up. So we're going to pick that up. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to fill all of this in with cobblestone. And then we're going to put this building down and see how the, the builder works. Now there is a creative mode uh, structure builder as well that you can use to, you know, if you wanted to build a uh, maybe an adventure map or something like that that will build these structures instantly. But uh, because we're in survival, what we're going to have to do is actually use, I believe, one of the miners, or maybe I'll need a worker or an engineer. We'll check that out here and see what it is that we need to uh, for that to actually build once we get all this filled in. Now one thing you may have noticed is that when uh, I ran out of cobblestone there, it immediately filled back in. I went ahead and I put inventory tweaks uh, in. It's just a client-side mod that will instantly refill uh, your hotbar for whatever was in it. Uh, if you have two swords in your inventory and one of them breaks and then you uh, uh, as long as you've got a, another sword of the same type, stone, iron, whatever it happens to be, it'll put another one of those directly into the same slot where the one was that you finished. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and it looks like this is going to be pretty big and I don't want to affect this square. So it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and go back a little bit. But let's see if we right click nothing, if we shift click. Okay, it did go down. So I think it will actually fill in with that. So let's go ahead and go into its interface. Maybe that's what it meant for right click. Nope, nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and fill in some of this here because I want it to have a cobblestone uh, foundation and all that and we'll see how it works you know I'm wondering if I should have made it down one block because it's probably going to make it raised up one including its foundation but we'll find out so I wish there was a way I could see how big it actually is so let's go ahead and we're gonna kinda block this in and see 
what we need to do. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this. So I'm just blocking this off because I want it to be nice and safe. I'm just doing this at the, uh, the same size as what the quarry was, basically. Just so that uh, I know how much is empty space underneath. So hopefully that'll work without any trouble. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll go ahead and we'll sleep. And then we'll uh, we'll get those guys out and working. Cause I, let's see. I'll have to see if it'll tell me in the uh, in my research book what I need. So let me grab my research book. Yeah, let's go ahead and just read in here. It's obviously a structure, so. It's accomplished in the drafting station. The structure will be locked in. Once a structure item has been produced, you must select an appropriate site. In survival mode, the chosen site must be 100% clear of any existing blocks or obstructions in order to proceed with placement. Once you place the building site, you will need workers in order to construct the building for you. Currently, minor type NPCs are the only type that can construct buildings. So we do need the miner. So they're kind of like, uh, you know, the guys that work with stone or whatever. What is that archer doing in here? Boy, those guys are just kind of crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and sleep, and then let's go put some miners on it and see what happens. Yeah, you need to get out of here, archer. Get back to your patrol. Keep my kingdom safe. You better get out of here, Enderman. Alright, so I got two novice miners here. And as you can see, I got plenty of food. So let me just throw these things in there so I can pull these guys out. Seriously? Yeah, you better run. Alright, so let's just throw these guys down here and see what they do. Okay, well, that guy's working. That guy's working. Okay, looks like that's the foundation going in. So basically, it seems as though when you put all the ingredients or resources into your structure builder, uh, it's kind of like you've given them everything in a box <clears throat> rather than maybe having uh, an empty structure here that you would then put resources in. I have uh, played a little bit with Minecraft Comes Alive, and I know that you can have them build buildings or wait no not minecraft comes alive what's the other one um oh i don't remember what the other one is called but um it lets you have them build structures you give them a chest and you just put the resources in and then they build the structure as you put resources in so let's see how this works Researcher, get out of there. If he goes up on that square, he'll be able to get out over the wall I put up. We don't want that. Because he doesn't have any kind of weapon to defend himself. Okay. You know what? Let's go give him something to research. Because he's just... You know, he's he's intelligent in that he can get you research, but he doesn't seem intelligent enough, really, to keep himself alive. So, let's look at research. Ooh, good, I can get explosives. One now. I need some clay, iron, gunpowder, paper, torch. So, there's a torch. Let's go ahead and do this. Piece of iron, gunpowder, paper... See, I'm going to hit start there, so... Oh, actually, I needed two of those. So maybe he'll actually stay here. And then that. And one piece of clay. I know I've got some clay around here somewhere. There we go. Ooh, I need to get some more. Alright, clay, there it is. 
Get to work, buddy. Alright, let's go check the progress on our house. Okay, so there is the stairs. I can probably go into it because I know where the floor is and hmm, very nice. So I'm assuming the door is going to go in here pretty soon. So it looks like they start at the back and wherever you place the uh, the structure builder is going to be the entrance to it. I was kind of curious as to why when it showed me the outline this it wasn't centered on the structure and that must be because the door is actually over here. Let's see if I can get in here. Go, go, go. And it looks like they go from left to right. So that's going to close in and they should put in a door. Or maybe the door will be last. Okay, they're putting the roof on. Very nice. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a quarry right next to it. Um, just so that I can kind of keep kind of clearing out this area where we're at. And then I'll fill it in, and I'll probably put some uh, some oak trees because uh, these all require oak wood, and then that way I can have have them build some more buildings for me. And I'm not sure what happens with this block when they're done. I guess we'll find out if we get to keep it and maybe use it again. But I, there's no way we could use it again because all the resources will have been spent. Hmm. I'll have to do some testing maybe in a, in a test world and see what happens like say uh, a creeper explodes here and destroys the uh, the block to find out what happens. Um, probably either all the resources will be spilled on the ground that are technically inside of it or they'll just be lost. So this here um, I recognize completely as a standard, you know, village house. Very, very nice. So I, I definitely want to try the, uh, the way you can do it yourself. You know, you build a building and then you copy it and then you can have them build it. Um, I think that would be really nice for starting your own village. You can make buildings however you want or just use these pre-built structures and then when you get some emeralds you know you can go ahead and create the normal villagers and are you guys filling that in there it goes so I realize this may not be you know like the most entertaining thing in the world uh, I definitely think it's kinda cool and um, it's only gonna be a couple more minutes here so hopefully they'll get it done before nighttime because it is past midday. I think they'll have plenty of time to finish it. So probably the door will be the last thing to go in. And of course I'll have to go in and put some more torches in because it's going to be dark. And we certainly don't want any mobs to spawn after we just built it. There's the door. And they're done. And the block disappeared. Pretty much what I expected. There's the one torch in the recipe. So let's go ahead and throw some more torches in here. Okay, that should be good. All right, so there is our first pre-built structure. That's pretty nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell these guys that this is their home because I'm tired of them cluttering up my fortress. It's actually more of a watchtower, I think. So you know what? Um, until I get that mine placed down, I don't need these guys. Hey, get back here. Okay, so I'm just going to repack these guys. 
There we go. And then I'll go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and clear out everything in this warehouse that I don't need. Just kind of toss it there in the trash to get rid of it because obviously we're going to get plenty more dirt and cobblestone. Um, who knows, maybe I'll take uh, our lumber courier over here and I'll have him just pick up all the cobblestone and dirt and throw it in there automatically. Uh, and the gravel. Because not going to need that. But uh, let's see, do we have anything good in here? No, not really. Um, and I did talk with Shadow Mage about the uh, the cost of some of the blocks here, specifically these right here, the large warehouse expansions, because they do cost eight iron to make, and you only get a single uh, chest's worth of space from them. You get three lines by nine for a total of 27, which is the same as just a regular chest which costs eight wood uh the two chests that you need and i think like um maybe some planks or uh something like that that is also required that's a minimal minimal cost that i i mean i don't i don't care about that if it's going to be three chests or something maybe one or two pieces of iron uh, due to the fact that we don't have any other mods in here to double our ores if we had something else that doubled our ores, then, you know, I wouldn't really care because I'd have so much iron that I would need something to do with it. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm definitely in contact with Shadow Mage. Uh, we're just talking about the things that are in it, how they're working, and, uh, you know, there's good things coming down the, coming down the pipe for this mod, and uh, it's already really just a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next episode, again, we're going to set up the new quarry mine over there and probably get some uh, oak trees planted so that we'll have the wood necessary to build some more of these standard village structures. Uh, you know, hey, because I want a village. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.